The um, experiences that I have that come to my life because I'm a member of Pilgrim, one of the funnest, most terrific experiences is taking the food from our pantry, from our closet uh, coat room, down to East End House uh, in East Cambridge and delivering it for them then to distribute to the people they serve. And the reason it's so fun to do that is because the staff at East End House are so fabulous and such fun to see and so warm and welcoming. And it is such fun to go there and see the terrific things that are happening at East End House. So it's uh, always a joy to bring the food down there. Thank you, by the way, to all of you who bring the food to the, um, to the coat room. Uh, and thanks for helping me have fun bringing it down there. This is one of three relationships we have with East End House. Uh, we also uh, have today's Mitten Sunday for East End House. The mittens we bring um, and the scarves and the uh, hats we bring go to East End House for their uh, distribution to the people they serve. And we also give them a small amount of cash coming out of our uh, mission fund. Um, uh, what does East End House do? It's been there since 1875. It's one of the earliest, uh, it's sort of a historic institution. It's one of the earliest uh, settlement houses in the United States. It serves underserved communities in East Cambridge. Its most important work is um, um, child care. And helps uh, families there with child care. It also has after school programs for both preschool and middle school kids. It has uh, a food, the food pantry that we bring food to. Uh, it has uh, a program for um, elder care. It does lots of other terrific things. Um, today we have with us Tim Severin, who is the uh, director of community programs, to share a further word, give you a little more color, like what happens to those mittens when they go down there? What happens to the food? What kind of, uh, what's the community that they serve? Um, how many people here have ever been to East End House? I'm just curious to know. So like, uh, Oh, a few of you have been there. Uh, the rest of you really have a treat if you ever have nothing to do, a uh, few moments to share with someone. It's right down by the courthouse uh, off of 3rd Street there in, um, on Spring Street uh, in, East, in East Cambridge. Um, Tim's the director of community uh, programs. Um, he's a graduate of Xavier College in uh, Cincinnati. He's also a recent grad of Harvard Divinity School. So if you go to East End House, uh, he can either receive your food and distribute it, or he can perhaps uh, minister to your spirit. Uh, either way, whatever your, your issue of the day is. So Tim's going to share a quick word with us about um, uh, how East End House serves the community. He's also going to hang around for a few extra minutes uh, at coffee hour, and we'll uh, provide more color on the work he and his colleagues do at East End House if you'd like to um, uh, uh, share thoughts with him. And finally, I think East End House always needs cash contributions, uh, and he can let you know how you can uh, help them out with cash if any of you want to do that. So, Tim. Thank you, Steve. Um, hi, everyone. Good morning. Um, this was really beautiful just to watch everyone's generosity here. I wasn't expecting that, but it was, it was amazing. Um, so I just want to tell you a little bit more about what we do at East End House um, and who the people are that we serve. Um, like Steve said, we've been around a long time and a lot's changed over that time, but through it all we've remained committed to the low-income community in Cambridge and the neighboring communities. Um, so most of the people we serve are um, the working poor, so people struggling to make ends meet each month, um, especially as the end of the month comes. Um, to have enough food to eat and for their families. Um, so, like Steve said, our main programs are these child care and after school programs where we serve about 150 families across all three of those programs um, from birth all the way through eighth grade. Um, so, that's been our main mission, but then we do wraparound services. So, we want to address the needs of the whole families that we're serving. Uh, so that includes the food pantry where we serve around 200 people a month um, and the seniors group who meets twice a week as well as uh, parenting classes that we do where we connect parents with the skills they need to, to help raise their children well and we provide them with any uh, infant necessities or things they need along those lines. Um, we also do two major, really major uh, giveaways, not just for our families but for the larger Cambridge community. Um, one which we just did in Thanksgiving, which uh, thank you all for all of the food you gave for that. We were able to feed 2,000 people in uh, over 800 families, so 
Thank you very much for your help with that. Um, that grows every year, especially as we're in this time of economic hardship for people. Um, and then this coming week, where all of this will be going, is our holiday toy drive. So around 650 kids will be getting mittens, scarves, hats, and toys, um, which makes a huge difference in the lives of many, many families. I um, just want to share one quick story about one of those families that I've been working with um, since I've been at East End House. Um, I'm going to change their names for confidentiality, but we'll say Jennifer and Lucy is her daughter. Jennifer is a single mom. She came to us um, about three years ago. Um, she was on the verge of homelessness. She had just lost her job and was really struggling to get get by through the end of that month. Um, and her daughter was around 15 months at that time, so um, at a really vulnerable age. Um, we were able to get her daughter enrolled into our childcare program to take some of the burden off of her there. And then because of that, she was able to find part-time work um, doing cleaning for people and some work at a uh, thrift store. So she's got part-time work and She's, we able, were able to give her food through our food pantry to help supplement some of that. Um, and we did a referral for rent assistance too. Um, so she's become more stable and just as evidence of how community-based we are, she's now one of our major volunteers at our food pantry. She comes twice a week and helps other people to get the food they need and to become more stable. Her daughter's been with us for three years now. She's gonna start kindergarten next year and um, She's now on, on track with all of her learning to, to be able to succeed in kindergarten. So that was really exciting. I told Jen, Jennifer about um, the mittens that you guys give, the hats, and, and the fact that she was going to get toys that, to put under the tree this, this holiday. And she was actually uh, jumping up and down with excitement from that. I mean, she had a huge smile. So it was really, your, your, your work and your generosity is very, very much appreciated and it makes a big difference to a lot of people. So I guess just on behalf of East End House and all of the families we serve, I want to say thank you. A check from us for $200. Thank you.